internal reflection the water is there saline water and a ray of light is passing that is from denser to the rarer medium and just to see the ray is not going in another medium but rather it rays its path in the same medium that is the total internal reflection in this there are two conditions to occur total internal internal reflection that two conditions are number 1 when a ray of light is passing from denser to the rarer medium and number 2 angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle right so this is a very good demo of the tir total internal reflection the straw is being charged by rubbing it with a flannel cloth and i have kept one straw on the bottle cap top of the bottle and another straw also rubbed with the flannel cloth and just to see the force of re- electrostatic repulsion and the wonderful demo to to show the repulsion and the straw st- itself start moving that's a wonderful torque experience is also there torque experience by the straw electrostatic force of force of repulsion is the main force of the stock thank you and is it the to be fast this line let me see the principal axis okay now if if, if the students touch as the students touch the mirror and of course they will feel it by the mirror words so it will get on the mirror this is the sphere this forms okay so radius of the mirror 
radius of this square of which this ruler is a part is the radius of the plane. Say it will be radius of the plane. So this is the radius of the plane. And this is the this you may find the center of curvature is forming in front of the ruler because this is a continuum. Okay. Now if the beam of parallel line, bunch of parallel line rays fall and it will diverge. Then you will convert it to point. That will be the focus. We can show them with a with a, a video. I'm showing you just a minute after. And this one is a diverging mirror. So its center of curvature falls behind the mirror. The center, here, the center of the mirror is called the pool of the mirror. This is the principal axis. The line passing through the mirror is the principal axis. Okay, this is of course a diverging mirror because the pair beam of parallel rays falls that will diverge. So this is a diverging mirror. Okay, so let's observe how the light ray dips. If a light ray parallel ray, the magnet is all concentrated at its poles. Let us just see it with the help of this demonstration. So we can clearly see that maximum iron fillings are attracted towards the poles that is not on the south pole of the magnet. The next demonstration I am going to do is by using two bar magnets. So here I have taken uh, two bar magnets which are placed in this way so that the north of one magnet comes in contact with the south of the other and then I am going to sprinkle the iron fillings. We can see that the magnetic lines are all moving from north direction to south direction. And if we bring the same sides of the magnet together, they start repelling each other. So we all know that opposite poles of the magnet attract each other and the similar poles repel each other. We cover the burning candle with glass. So what happens here is that the fire uses all the oxygen available in the glass. And once it consumes all the available oxygen, the flame extinguishes. The hot air now cools down and start contracting and starts contracting while create the suction and the glass get stuck with the tray. The outsider area pressure is more and there is a vacuum in the glass so the glass can now lift the plate. It is happens because of the air pressure difference inside and outside the glass. Thank you. A film, a thin layer due to the surface tension. Due to the surface tension, the thin film is formed by the water and this film is a barrier which is not allowing the water to go through the sea. Now, if I pick up this glass, then you can see that water is passing through the sea. So, in this experiment, we have learned about surface tension. Vacuum is created. It is obvious that the atmospheric air pressure outside the glass is more than the pressure inside the glass but the pressure inside the inside and the outside of the glass tends to get balanced so the air from the outside of the glass wants to get in as a result the high pressure air outside the glass pushes on the water forcing the water into the glass so we can see the water level rising until
till the air pressure inside the glass is same as the air pressure outside the glass thank you when we connect a low flatten balloon to a large flatten balloon the air will flow from the smaller balloon to the larger one until equilibrium is raised this happens because air moves from higher pressure to a lower pressure initially the smaller balloon has higher pressure due to its lower volume as air flows from the smaller balloon to the larger one the pressure equalizes between the two balloons eventually they will reach the same pressure and the smaller balloon appears to vanish as it deflates into the larger one when a balloon moves towards a running tap water it is influenced by bernoulli's principle as water flows from the tap its velocity increases causing a decrease in pressure around the running water according to the bernoulli's principle the high pressure around the Thank you. You can see it is tried, trying to float over there on the free surface. You see? You can see, start to float over there. See? As as I am touching this, it is falling inside because whenever I am touching this, the surface tension breaks over there. So this is surface tension in which. the free surface of the liquid tries to maintain the minimum surface area and for that it is applying a force per unit 
wave length. The length should be an imaginary line drawn on this free surface. And that corresponding length will be called as the surface tension of this given liquid. This time we have taken water as the liquid, so this is the surface tension. Thank you.